you will learn how to connect voiceflow make.com and google sheets so here uh, please write your name if i say book and i send it's gonna immediately go here and then update my uh, name here book we will start from make.com create a new scenario and click here webhooks we need to create a custom webhook not the mail hook but the webhook and create webhook and i'm gonna say voice flow whatever save and then we will copy this address so copy address to clipboard and then press ok and then i will just run this once and then let's go to make.com so the way we will call this api is very simple we're gonna go here to dev and then api and we're gonna set the post because we will send some data you say get if you are just retrieving data and then here in body we will just say so whatever so let's say name uh, michael that's it so this will be key this will be value if you don't understand i will explain so let's just click send request and status 200 means it's everything went okay so here we see that if we got name michael okay so what we can do now is uh, add google sheets like this and add a row and we will uh, make a new connection if you don't have one but i think you, you know how to do it and then we will choose the file and i will say uh, real estate leads sheet name will be sheet one and we just have name and email so this is what i have name and email so it's actually gonna be very simple so and now if i click here i can click this name so whatever the name is uh, it will be saved into this google sheet but the problem is uh, we don't have email we only have name so we need to send one time so uh, but i want to just show you before we send email and name as example data uh, if you see this uh, asterisk here you need to click here and press ok that means you didn't press ok okay so let me run run this once again and then let's go back so i'm sending name but i also need to send uh, email so let's click here plus and now we're gonna send email and i just wrote some email michael at gmail.com so if i send, uh, send request we have 200 and we let's see we have michael but we don't have email because we still did not assign email uh, field so let's go here and now that we send this test data now we can we have also email here and then press ok and let's run once again and then i'm gonna say uh, Raphael. so i wrote Raphael and Raphael at gmail.com and send request so this will immediately send both and update here now we also have email now let's uh, say listen capture and i think i need to say uh, listen capture somewhere like here for example and let me just show you how to do this so uh, if we want to save something into a variable so for example we have this we are asking user like for their name uh, and then i'm gonna make a new variable here create new variable uh, and let's call it a user name like that create variable and then i'm gonna connect this to my api call and here where i have name i'm just gonna delete this Raphael that's hard coded and i'm gonna open curly brackets and say username this one and that's it so now if i think uh, if i'm gonna run this once again don't forget to run always and then i'm gonna start here and it's gonna just uh, give me opportunity to type so i'm gonna say uh, whatever mic and send enter and now this should be here we have mic and we have this Raphael because this we hard coded this one so that's how you use variables in the next tutorial i will create a full lead generation chatbot with voice flow make.com and real estate you can check the links below to see my uh, premium courses where you will learn everything about voice flow ai automation chatbots 
especially in real estate niche and other niches.